First, the latest on the Brett Kavanaugh investigation of what's expected next from Washington. Like Good afternoon, everybody, and thanks for joining us for Local 4 News at Noon. I'm Karen Drew. The FBI's highly anticipated investigation of Supreme Court nominee Brett Kavanaugh delivered to the White House and Capitol Hill overnight. Lawmakers all set to review it today, while the first vote expected tomorrow. NBC's Peter Alexander has the latest. Members of the Senate get their first look at the FBI's completed background investigation into Judge Brett Kavanaugh. Everyone has asked, what's it going to say? How am I going to react? I have no idea. In truth and fairness, I have no idea. Late Wednesday, top Republican Mitch McConnell starting the clock on Kavanaugh's confirmation vote before even receiving the FBI's findings. There'll be plenty of time for members to review and be briefed on the supplemental material. The top Democrat on the Judiciary Committee, Dianne Feinstein, blasting the White House for not instructing the FBI to interview Kavanaugh himself and his accuser, Christine Blasey Ford, raising, quote, serious concerns that this is not a credible investigation. Kavanaugh has vehemently denied all allegations of sexual misconduct against him. Ford's legal team also questioning the thoroughness of any FBI investigation that didn't interview her or witnesses she says corroborate her testimony. Releasing a statement overnight that reads in part, We are profoundly disappointed that after the tremendous sacrifice she made in coming forward, those directing the FBI investigation were not interested in seeking the truth. President Trump still facing fierce criticism for mimicking Ford's account of her alleged assault. How did you get home? I don't remember. How'd you get there? I don't remember. Where is the place? I don't remember. How many years ago was it? I don't know. I don't know. Those comments potentially complicating Kavanaugh's confirmation, outraging three crucial Republican swing votes. I thought they were absolutely wholly inappropriate. The president's comments were just plain wrong. It's just not right. It's just not right. I wish he hadn't have done it. Um, I just and say it's it's kind of appalling. White House officials combating criticism that he was mocking Ford's account. She's been treated like a Faberge egg by all of us, beginning with me and the president. He's pointing out factual inconsistencies. It seemed to me that he was stating facts that Dr. Ford herself uh, laid out in her testimony.